healthy people, I hope you're doing well. Personally, I'm doing very well and I'm very excited to have you here. Always a pleasure to have you here. So I discovered that there are various types of budgets out there. In fact, I've probably used all of them, but I, I didn't know what were they. I mean, they were, it was a thing that budgets, uh, we have different types of budgets. I just knew that at a particular time of my life, I was using this method. A particular time of my life, I was using another method. And then recently, um, I realized that there are different budgets that could be suited for different people. So today, I just want to lay a foundation. First of all, let's describe what budgeting is. Is showing your money where to go, as opposed to asking where did my money go. So budgeting is showing you your money where to go but in simpler terms budgeting is having like a spreadsheet a structure a schedule of how you're going to use your money way before the money comes so the first uh, type of a budget is the value based budget i love this one it focuses on the things that you love and that's where the bulk of your money goes and then the rest of the things that are necessities they take the smaller part of your money all right so it's called the the value based budget number two type of a budget it's called the pay yourself fast budget this is very simple this is where you just when you receive your money you take a percentage my leader or the person I reported to recently did a video and said that he believes if the government is taking 30% or 40%, you should be able to pay yourself as that kind of an amount first and then the rest is what you leave on. So this budget just simply says you will have a list of all your expenses or liabilities but first you remove the amount that you're paying yourself that is aside just like tax so you're planning with the the the, the balance so for for instance you've earned a million kenya shillings or ten thousand dollars maybe 30 percent has gone to tax or 40 percent depending on which country you are i'm in kenya it's 30 percent let's use 30 percent and uh, the remaining of that money is now 700,000 uh, or 7,000 dollars or more. So that is the amount now you allocate on your expenses. And then also uh, part of it goes to maybe clear your debt. Part of it goes to, 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 to paying your mortgage or part of it also goes to giving so this budget you will still have the list of your expenses like rent school fees all that but it will be net of your investment or the amount that you are putting so far so that's the budget number two pay yourself first budget number three is called the percentage based budget this one is simple you just follow a percentage i've heard of three types of uh, percentage based budgets i think the first one i had was the 70 20 10 rule i'm sure you've heard of that and then the second one i had was the 50 30 20 rule budget and then i've also had the 50 50 budget all those mean every percentage goes to something like for example let me explain the 70 20 10 70 percent 70 20 10 budget dictates 70 percent goes to your lifestyle expenses your everything to do with your living and your survival 20 percent goes to investment and 10 percent goes to time or emergency that's my understanding of the 70 20 10 budget the 50 30 10 budget dictates 50% goes to your lifetime expenses, which are necessities. 30% goes to your wants, and then 20 goes to paying off your debt and also your investment. So 
it's a little bit complicated because the 20 percent i don't know what percent you will put in the loans and what you will put in the investment but that's what it says the 50 50 is also very simple 50 percent you save immediately and invest 50 percent you live on simple clear. so that those are three examples of percentage based budgets now number four is reversed budget by dave ramsey this one you set aside what is very important first then the remaining you decide what to do so in short when you're doing your excel you first start when you receive your money you pay the things first and then what remains is what now you decide whether you want to invest or spend on something it's it's reversed so instead of planning uh, or having percentages you have figures whereby this will go to this and then whatever remains is, is what i will allocate to whatever remains so that is a, com a more complicated one by dave ramsey i will also come back and uh, and explain it very very much in detail now number five zero sum budget <laughs> this is where all of us were initially whereby our understanding and personally when i used to use this zero based budget i was very innocent because i used to believe that you should use all your money and never borrow and i thought i was doing very well if i earned say twenty thousand. I would use i would plan i used to budget but i would budget all of it until nothing is left and i would feel very good about it because i'm like my money has fitted so little did i know if i didn't have that income it would mean i'm on the streets that's what the zero based budget are dictates however i believe it's a good place to start with at least you have a budget the zero based budget is a place whereby maybe you're earning very little You've just gotten probably your first job and you're trying not to live beyond your means because now when you be you live beyond your means you're going on the negative so the, the zero based budget dictates dictates you use all your money but you 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 use the, the the balance is zero and the last one is the automatic budget so you just go to let's say online you download a budget it has all the templates it has all the, the amounts you feed your amount at the box or where the slot is and then it tabulates and populates for you how much goes where now currently i'm combining about three types of budgets and you can combine i normally use the pay yourself first budget and it's usually combined with the automatic budget i downloaded the automatic budget then i changed it to fit what i wanted such that every time i receive my income i just come and fit that amount at the top and then it will show me how much should be for rent now simply put at the back of my mind my income is not very erratic even if it increases it's not in those crazy sums and if it does i will know what to do but there's a part of it that is very constant. So I normally know if I'm living in a, if I'm spending a certain amount, say on house or food or whatever, it's it's not supposed to change periodically, maybe for a year, three years. So that means even if I fit there, because I already changed the percentages. So I combine the automatic budget, there are three budgets I combine, the automatic budget and the pay yourself budget and percentage. So there are those percentages I know I can't exceed when it comes to a particular expense. I hope I've not confused you, but I've shed some light. So those six budgets, there should be one budget that can fit you, or you can combine two budgets. And even if you're in the zero budget, zero based budget, you are somewhere. So we can now take you to pay yourself first budget or the percentage budget. All right. If you need more information on this, you can send me an email on Wealth Hub Empire. Also, you can visit our website at www.wealthhubempire.com. Uh, you can find me on IG, Wealth Hub Empire, TikTok, Wealth Hub Empire, and you can DM me and I'll be able to come back to you. And also ask a question and we will try our level best to come back with an answer. God bless you. Bye.